This is a GCE L level pure physics revision series. In this video, we will discuss multiple choice questions that you must know before you take your examination. The multiple questions discussed here are related to Chapter 4 Mass, Weight and Density. This video is brought to you by Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out important updates from us. Also, check out the description area to sign up to our signature course, GCE L Level Pure Physics Full Course, at unbelievable price. It's one time payment. You can study anytime you like, anywhere at your convenience. You can also easily monitor and track your study with Udemy's system. There is no recurring monthly tuition fees. No expensive intensive revision workshops. You don't have to rush to any tuition centers. You don't have to worry on missing any lessons. Sign up our signature online course at description area now. Without further ado, let's get started now. Chapter 4. Mass, Weight and Density. Question 1. Given that, the gravitational field strength on the moon is less than on the earth. If an object is weighted using a spring balance on the earth and on the moon, what will be the changes of the mass and the weight of the object? A. The mass remains same but the weight increases. B. The mass remains same but the weight decreases. C. The mass increases but the weight decreases. D. The mass decreases but the weight increases. The answer is B. The mass remains same but the weight decreases. Mass is always constant regardless of location while weight is dependent on the gravitational field strength. Question 2. The diagram above shows the dimension of an object with the mass of 2 kg. What is the density of the object? A 20 kg per meter cube. B. 80 kg per meter cube. C. 50,000 kg per meter cube. D. 20,000 kg per meter cube. The answer is C. 50,000 kg per meter cube. Density, rho equals mass over volume. The mass is given as 2 kg. The volume is 0 0.05 times 0 0.02 times 0 0.04 meters. Hence, the answer is 50,000 kg per meter cube. Question 3. Which quantity of an object cannot be changed when a force is acting on it? A. Mass B. Volume C. Density D. Total surface area The answer is A. Mass The mass of an object is always constant. If an object is compressible, its volume can change when force is applied. When the volume changes, the density of the object will change. Similarly, if an object is compressible, its total surface area can change when a force is applied. Question 4. Three objects are cut from the same sheet of metal. They have different shape but all of them have the same mass. Which object has the least density? A. Disc B. Square C. L shape. D. All of them have the same density. The answer is. D. All of them have the same density. Since these objects are cut from the same sheet of metal, they have the same density. Question 5. Which of the following statements about gravitational field is correct? A. Gravitational field only appears on charged objects. B. Gravitational field pulls two masses together. C. The gravitational field strength on the moon is weaker than the Earth because there is no atmosphere on the moon. D. The gravitational field can cause two masses to repel each other. The answer is B. Gravitational field pulls two masses together. 
gravitational field appears on non-charged objects as well. The gravitational field strength on the moon is weaker because its mass is less than the Earth. The gravitational field does not cause two masses to repel each other. Question 6. The diagram shows the dimensions of two cylindrical solids which are made from the same material. What is the ratio of the mass of cylinder A to cylinder B? A. 1 to 8 B. 8 to 1 C. 1 to 2 D. 2 to 1 The answer is C. 1 to 2 Since both of the solids are made from the same material, their densities are the same. Rho equals M A over V A, equal M B over V B hence, M A to M B equals V A to V B. Which means M A to M B equals pi R square H A to pi R B square H B. Since both have the same diameter, which means same radius, pi R A square H equals pi R B square H B therefore, M A to M B equals H A to H B equals 1, 2. Question 7. The diagram above shows how the same wooden block floats or sinks in three different liquids, P, Q, R, and S. Which liquid has the highest density? A. Liquid P. B. Liquid Q. C. Liquid R. D. Liquid S. The answer is D. Liquid S. Liquid S has the highest density as it makes the wooden block to float above the surface. Question 8. A stone with a mass of 36 grams and 1.6 grams per centimeter cube is carefully lowered into a measuring cylinder containing 60 centimeter cube of water. What is the final reading on the measuring cylinder? A. 22.5 centimeter cube. B. 82.5 centimeter cube. C. 57.6 cm3 D. 117.6 cm3 The answer is B. 82.5 cm3 The volume of stone equals mass per density For this instance, 36 grams over 1.6 grams per cm3 And the result is 22.5 cm3 The final reading on measuring cylinder is 60 plus 22.5 Which gives 82.5 cm3 Question 9 Given that the gravitational field strengths on Uranus and Neptune are 9.0 newtons per kilograms and 11.7 newtons per kilograms A rock has a weight of 80 newtons on Neptune What is the weight of the rock on Uranus? A. 104 newtons. B. 61.5 newtons. C. 1.32 newtons. D. 720 newtons. The answer is B. 61.5 newtons. The mass of the rock is 80 over 11.7 which gives 6.84 kilograms. The weight of the rock on Uranus equals 6.84 by 9, which gives 61.5 newtons. Question 10. An astronaut in a space station orbits the Earth. When he places his sunglasses at eye level and let go of it, the pair of sunglasses stays at his eye level. Both the astronaut and the pair of sunglasses experience the Earth's gravitational pull force of 4.2 newtons per kilograms at that position. Which of the statements below is correct? A. The pair of sunglasses has mass but no weight. B. The pair of sunglasses has weight but no mass. C. The pair of sunglasses has mass and weight. D. The pair of sunglasses has no mass and no weight. The answer is C. The pair of sunglasses has mass and weight. Mass is always constant regardless of location. 
Since there is gravitational pull force, the pair of sunglasses has weight. Both the astronaut and the pair of sunglasses fall at the same rate. Hence the pair of sunglasses stays at his eye level. Question 11. A rocket is launched from the Earth to the Moon. At a certain point in the journey, its weight is zero. Which of the statements below explains this correctly? A. The rocket has zero mass at that point. B. The rocket is at rest. C. The gravitational fields of the Earth and the Moon cancel each other. D. The rocket is traveling in vacuum. Hence there is no air resistance. The answer is C. The gravitational fields of the Earth and the Moon cancel each other. Weight is a force and is a vector quantity. The rocket is pulled by the gravitational fields of the Earth and the Moon. When the weight is zero, it is in a balanced state, which means the gravitational fields of the Earth and the Moon cancel each other. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any thoughts, opinion or experience want to share? Write it down in the comment area. We'd love to hear from you. Also, do you like this video? Don't forget to like and share it to your friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.